Hey guys, it's another late night edition of Garrett Outdoors. Tonight I got a weird product here. I got it as a gift. It came as a gift from my brother-in-law, just like the product I reviewed the other day. And I believe this also came out of the Karn subscription box. And uh, I got to tell you what though, I'm actually pretty excited to test this thing out and see what it's capable of. It is... The Fire Beaner by Outdoor Element. Now this thing, as you can see on here, it has a bunch of different tools. I mean, it's a carabiner. It's got a fire striker uh, with ferro rod inside. It's got a um, flathead for screwdriver. It's bottle opener. It has a blade for cord cutting or for seat belt cutting. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing here. It comes with a couple spare ferro rods. And this thing, this thing puts off serious sparks. I've not taken it off the package yet, but I have been able to sit here and spin it. This thing, I, I love the sparks off of it. You can see the smoke too. I'm gonna see if I can, see that? Just for this little thing. It puts off some serious sparks, so I'm actually really interested in seeing how well that works. Whether it's all show if the or if it works as well as I think it's gonna. So let's go ahead get this thing off the package and uh, we'll check it out. Okay, first impressions here. Being as small as it is, it is light. But for its size and what I'm feeling in my hand and the weight to it, it actually feels like there's some pretty good uh, quality material there. Let me see. It says it's titanium coated stainless steel. Cool. Corrosion resistant. Pretty strong. So like I said, here we go. We got the, the flathead screwdriver here, which is not going to want to focus. And then here, this is where you cut things. Yeah, it's not going to want to focus. Oh, there it goes. All right. Down here, this is the... Well, it doesn't say specifically, but it says fire beaner. It's for the fire striker, which you can replace the ferro rods. It's a little screw there that comes out. They have a little picture on the back here of how that works. Like I said, it came with replacement ferro rods. <clears throat> Let's see here about that blade it looks like it would be pretty hard to cut myself accidentally so I don't think I could probably shave my nails off but that's about it uh, let's see here it says it's a bottle opener how does this open a bottle let's see here so this must be where you open the bottles at I'd test that out but I don't have any bottles right now pretty sad about it and these things down here these holes it says those are hang slots, keys, gear, tinder vial, get creative. So I think it's interesting that you're going to hook this onto something and instead of lashing it onto here, you're going to actually tie it off to this. Some people might do that, maybe put it on a key ring or something. Maybe this will be a carabiner for your keys. Actually, I could see that now that I think about that. That makes sense. But yeah, what I'm really excited about is that. That thing is a serious fire striker. Now we gotta find something to uh, try to light. All right, now for the purposes of our fire starting test, I brought a few different things here to try. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and try them out. First, we're going to take some hand sanitizer, just some Dollar Tree, Dollar Store brand hand sanitizer. As you can see, it's got the alcohol content 70%. I have trouble getting it to work if it's less than 63, but being a high percentage, this stuff should work just fine. So we'll go ahead and set it there, and let's see if we can light it.
here we go it is lit let me make sure you guys can see that yeah it is hard to see but it is definitely lit took a few tries and I actually had to use my finger to spread it around a little bit uh, just to give it some more air but as you can see it's starting to change color now go ahead and blow that out get that cleaned up next one here I don't suppose we'll have any trouble with I take these uh, coin collecting tubes for quarters and nickels and such and I use them to keep my uh, petroleum jelly cotton balls in I'm just gonna take a little bit here don't need much and let's go ahead and give this one a shot And uh, basically one strike and it goes. Which I pretty much expected. That's the beauty of uh, petroleum covered cotton balls is they're uh, really easy to light. And they burn for a good long while too. Okay. We are all cleaned up and ready for the third and final round. Now for this one, I did some... Uh, curls here off of a piece of firewood that I have for the stove and I tried to make sure it was a dry piece of wood that it was well seasoned and that I did the smallest finest little uh, curls and pieces I could all these things making you sneeze hunches so I don't expect this to work out as well as the others did. This is not fat wood or anything, this is just some curled up wood, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. This is hard to direct it to where I want it to go. smallest piece. Oh. Woo! Woo, I got it. I can't believe it. I got it. <laughs> oh man, I burnt my finger too. All right, so as you can see, uh, it started fires with all three things. Got it on the hand sanitizer got it on the cotton ball and got it on the small shavings of wood burnt my finger in fact <laughs> so let's try this cord cutting now it says it can cut seat belts well i don't have a seat belt to test it on not what i'm willing to test it on anyways um but let's try it on some paracord this is some good paracord too i've had this for a couple years now some pretty good strong paracord so, let's see how it does out of the box, so to speak. It didn't come in a box. But here we go. Just gonna take it. far not as easy as I was hoping for. It's cutting it, but it's not doing it very easily. There we go. Made a mess of things. Let's try it again. I don't know that I'll have enough to even grip to do it. Just gonna take it, hold it over the edge. Maybe rocking it from back to side to side. There we go. Yeah, that didn't cut as easily as I would have hoped for. 
Looking down at it, it's actually a little thicker looking than I thought it was originally. It didn't cut through it quite as well as I would have liked it to have. I mean, if you had nothing else to work with, it'll work. But it doesn't just sit there and slice through it real easy. I could see it as being something that some people would like to hang on their key ring, hooked to their belt loop or what have you. And it'll work really well for that. And if you need to use a carabiner, you could use this instead and get all the functionality, all the extra tools that come with it instead of just being a simple plain carabiner. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to have this. And uh, it's definitely going to find its way onto one of my kits. But this thing is pretty neat. Now, like I said, I got it for free. Thank you again, Matt. But uh, I think they go for $14.99 from what I've seen. You might be able to find them cheaper elsewhere. And uh, you know what? If this is... If what you see here in this video is what you're looking for, the build quality is there. This thing feels strong. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comment box below, along with any other comments, questions, or suggestions that you may or may not have. And uh, as always, I will catch you guys next time.